जय हिंद वंदे मातरम दिस इज कुणाल मेहता फ्रॉम मेक मी साइंटिफिक एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द साइन कन्वेंशन फॉर द लेंसेस दीज साइन कन्वेंशन आर द सेट ऑफ रूल्स विच हेल्प अस इन सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स फॉर द लेंसेज यूजिंग द लेंस फॉर्मुला राइट द एप्लीकेशन इज वेरी क्रुशियल प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक वेरी वेल ओके सो द फर्स्ट रूल इज यू आर ऑलवेज सपोज टू कीप द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द लेंस सो वी हैव दिस ब्लू कलर एरो as an object which is kept on the left hand side of the optical center of the lens right so object always on the left hand side of the lens so all distances are to be measured from the optical center of the lens which means see i have kept two scales over here purposefully because of this now suppose this is my scale so what am i going to do is i am going to take place the zero of the scale this is of course an inverted scale the scale is like this but i have purposefully placed this as an inverted that is due to the fact that this zero has to be put at the optical center so that means suppose this is the zero of the scale that i am going to put it at the optical center and if you ask me to measure the object distance so object distance is the distance from the object to the optical center and for that i will have to turn the scale in this manner and i will have to place the zero of the scale at the optical center now in this way if i measure the distance this distance might be about 9 cm but if you look carefully that this distance is measured against the direction of the incident ray so the incident ray is going from left to right towards the lens whereas we are measuring the distance 0 1 2 3 4 in the increasing order in the opposite direction of the incident ray so those distances which are against the incident rays are to be considered as negative that is rule number 2 right now rule number 3 suppose we have a real image right so this is our real image this is our real image guys and real images are always on the right hand side right hand side of the optical center so this is our optical center all right so for measuring the distances again i will have to take the scale like this place the zero of the scale on the optical center and then i will measure this distance from the optical center to the uh the image so i will measure the distance in the increasing manner 0 1 2 3 4 like in this direction that is same as the direction of incident ray so for real images v would be positive and the object distance u would always be negative okay now in the same way in the same way guys if we want to measure so this rule number 2 and 3 are also discussed now height above the principal axis is considered to be positive which means if i am being asked to measure the height of an object that means this this is the height of the object again i will place the scale in this manner by keeping the zero of the scale on the principal axis so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 whatever it may be suppose it is 7 cm then height measured in the upward direction remember the zero of the scale has to be on the principal axis so height of the object is 7 cm but since we are measuring in the upward direction this is positive now in case of the real image i will have to place the scale like this this is again zero of the scale and this is suppose 9 cm till here let's say 10 cm then the height which is height of the image is hi this is measured below the principal axis so i will write down minus 10 cm in the numericals okay chalo now now there is a very very short trick that i want to say if you do not want to follow the rules and if you just want to you know abruptly and very instantly give the answer then please consider it like this this is your y axis this is your y axis and let me make it very clear this is all positive y axis and these are your negative y axis because all the numbers below the origin are considered as negative so this is negative y axis this part is your positive x axis and this part is your negative x axis always remember put this lens such that its optical center coincides with the origin so this is the origin of the coordinate system 
and this origin must coincide with the optical center right now very simple guys all distances on the right will be positive all distances will be on the left hand side will be negative so since the object is on this side so object distance u is going to be negative like this one object distance is negative image distance for a real image is going to be v which is measured on this side which is positive so i must say object distance negative or oh sorry this is positive object distance is negative height of the object is measured along positive y axis like this so this turns out to be positive so height of the object is positive in case of real image you will measure the height downwards which comes out to be in the negative y axis so answer will be negative now one last case guys you have to always understand i will just erase all the ink over here please note that the focus f2 is the one which is going to decide the focal length of any lens so for this lens you know that all parallel rays they pass through f2 right so the distance from o to f2 is your focal length and that turns out to be positive because f2 is on right hand side if you don't understand what are f1 and f2 please check the link in the description to understand the same so the focal length of this lens is positive object distance negative image distance for the real image is positive height of the object positive height of the image negative now see for real images magnification is hi upon ho ho is always positive hi turns out to be negative so this answer magnification is always negative now let's talk about the virtual image formation in this case now you can apply the same thing for the concave lens as well no change so here now since this object is on the left hand side so u is definitely going to be negative f2 is always on this side right hand side so the focal length is always going to be positive all right now the virtual images are always found on the left hand side of the object so this is v and this will be negative this time so v is negative height of the object ho will be measured in the upward direction so positive even the height of the image that is this one is also measured in the upward direction along plus y axis so positive so hi ho both are positive and in the same way if i find the magnification hi upon ho since both are positive numbers my answer is also going to be positive now let's move ahead with the concave lens so for concave lens this is the height of the object right and this is f2 so the distance from o to f2 and why is that because if there is a ray which is coming from infinity after refraction it has to pass through f2 so this focal length is considered to be negative because f2 decides the focal length object distance of course it is on the left hand side and this is the image i this is the object o right so image distance is also negative because of the fact that it is a virtual image on the left hand side so image distance v is negative height of the object positive height of the image positive magnification also positive but the magnification will be less than one because the height of the image is small compared to the height of the object so if you find the magnification hi upon ho number wise this is plus this is plus so answer is positive so you can conclude that for real images the magnification are always positive but magnitude wise this answer will be less than one right so this is how i would like to conclude the topic magnification of length